News anchor Thalia Hayden joins us now in studio with the disturbing details. Thalia. Elizabeth, Animal Samaritans in Thousand Palms allowed us to record video of a dog who was badly attacked by another dog. You'll also see photos of a two-year-old dog found in Coachella who also exhibits signs of being used and abused during dog fighting. Just a few weeks ago, animal control officers picked up this injured dog who they say was wandering near the city of Coachella. He had sustained an injury to his head uh, that looked like somebody had hit him with an axe. Adoption Alliance Animal Rescue Coordinator Michelle Bergeon says this dog they named Capone exhibited signs of being used as a bait dog in dog fighting matches. I saw Capone sitting there. And he looked up at me, and it was the most horrific thing I'd ever seen. And he was so emaciated. And I didn't know how I was going to help him, but I knew that I had to do it. Burjan had Capone transported to the Pitts Animal Rescue in San Diego, where he's receiving the necessary medical care. But Capone is just one example of dogs in the valley sustaining injuries consistent with dog fighting. We've seen quite an increase. Uh, in dogs coming into the county shelter with evidence of bite wounds, old bite wounds. Just two days ago, this dog, who they're calling Calamity Jane, was found. Berjan can't guarantee she was a fighting dog, but says she definitely suffered attacks from other dogs. She had open wounds on both of her paws and compound fractures, and she also had old bite wounds around her face, and she was very skinny. All signs, Berjan says, of being a potential victim of dog fighting. But pit bulls aren't the only breed of dogs susceptible to this type of torture. People's personal pets are often stolen to be bait dogs. And sadly, there, there's something that's called sort of a halftime show in some of these, bait do these uh, fight dogs. Uh, they'll, they'll take a person's pet and they'll have like a halftime show with it and the animal is just basically mauled. But there is a way to minimize this type of animal cruelty and abuse. And to know that there seems to be an increase of this going on, and you feel kind of helpless. What can you do to stop this? Um, I think the key is being aware of it. Uh, if you notice it, don't be afraid to speak up. Now, if you see wandering or stray dogs, dogs tethered for long periods of time, or dogs with wounds, please report it to Animal Control. As far as Capone, staff members at Animal Samaritan say he will most likely get an official medical clearance and one day become adoptable. So that's good news. Back to you.